Hello and thank you for tuning in to the Europe World Podcast where we talk about stupid news from around Europe. Uh, I'm joined here today with my two buddies that are dead today. We have Horia. Hello. And then uh, the ultimate dead guy, Mr. Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> Do you have bad exactly. reception in the, in the cave? No. No. <laughs> As okay. <laughs> okay. Uh today we have news from uh the great UK, God bless the Queen, and Germany, and I guess uh, we also have the weird news continuation. Not the weird news, the weird laws continuation from last time. Uh so today we're doing episode 15. We reached episode Ooh, 15. It's like we got him. Uh, got him. Yeah. <laughs> so let's begin with the old uh, rock people paypal to see who goes first and i assume it's uh, between uh the three of us this time because fuck the dead guy i have something against dead people uh, undead That's people so i'm sorry the undead people <laughs> <laughs> i have a problem with undead <laughs> fucking zombies ruining my country so hmm. exactly okay. okay mr zombie and mr ho uh, I'm gonna do the countdown and okay. it's it to go. Let's begin. Are you ready? I am. Yes. Yes. Three, Oi. two, one, go. Rock. Rock. Oh. So he goes last anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah, zombies. How smart the devil is farting. Is them, um, them zombie jeans. I mean, you, you can eat trash as much as you like. You still lost. <laughs> the amount of passion uh, in your voice is giving me depression yeah the chills man <laughs> depression the chills squared and the dirty <laughs> can you please do the countdown or is that too much to ask of you fine fine <laughs> oh. uh-huh. so are, you, are you ready yes three two <laughs> <laughs> what's going on oh, he's I... laughing <laughs> oh. come on do, do you do it another time I, mean... I love, I love how you, you had like two seconds in there where at least one of you was like I'm not gonna say it now because the other's gonna know what I said <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> completely out of sync <laughs> so three two one <laughs> go Jesus, oh. fuck. Oh. You <laughs> lost. <laughs> you uh, bitch. <laughs> I'm the resident bitch of this episode. <laughs> the number so one bitch you, award. You've won just a couple of times. Yeah, I've won in reverse. <laughs> I mean, frankly speaking, you rarely. <laughs> <laughs> Statistically. Statistically. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Stalinistically. Stalinska, yeah. Test, 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 test. Yeah. Don't, don't laugh at me. I get nervous. <laughs> like, you, like you don't laugh at me, right? <laughs> Why did you make that personal? You fucking cunt. <laughs> Nothing personal. You're just a hoe. Yes. <laughs> Not personal. <laughs> Okay, let's begin with the news from UK. God save the queen again. She's got a grandbaby or great grandbaby. I don't know. Another another baby. Another baby (laughs) in the royal family. The little uh, spawn of the actor. Shark witch baby. Uh, What? What? Shark. Shark witch baby. Baby shark. (laughs) Shark call. Shark baby. Call baby. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> call shark baby shark. <laughs> baby He's... shark call baby shark call he takes after <laughs> his mother she's a shark those dead eyes He's but anyways uh, first news we have uh, a badger that cute little rascal animal a british okay. army bothered by badger at top secret facility uh the british army had to call an animal's hospital after a badger burrowed into a high security ammunition compound in a top secret facility <laughs> facility somewhere in wiltshire 
uh, the badger was unable to find his way out after breaching a high security fence. And apparently the military called the animal control uh, because they were scared of the animal. Uh, we received <laughs> an anxious call from the army, which would have caused a few red faces. An adult badger managed to dig into a high security ammunition compound and couldn't remember, remember the place he penetrated to enter the sensitive area, so he couldn't find his way out. Uh, so yeah, he got in the uh, high security compound. I guess he tried to steal some ammunition and uh yeah, it needed shot. them guns <laughs> yeah he wanted to shoot uh, shoot some bitches up you i'll know. fucking slaughter you <laughs> <laughs> badger bitches <laughs> badger bi- slaying that badger bitch pussy <laughs> I'm, I'm just stuck with that uh, that line and stacking to any <laughs> <laughs> i can't even say it <laughs> i also because you brought that up i I went back and listened to the song, and apparently that's not the lyrics. <laughs> that's just my invention. Oh. Your invention, <laughs> you dirty swine. <laughs> I, apparently that's how I understood the song uh, for, for what all did these it years. Say? He says, what did it say? "You should have just." <laughs> he says, "Fifty fifties, something about fifties and twenties," and then she, he says, "Bitch." But it's not like stacking 20s in the pussy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently that's what I understood all this, all these years. So, yeah. But you're telling me that actually this is not, it, it falls under no kind of copyright infringement. So what you're telling me <laughs> is that we can actually make a song with this shit. <laughs> Without the Rex City part. That's the name of the song. <laughs> And Whatever that he actually fuck. has. I am, I'm interested in the stacking 20s yeah, in the but pussy w- bitch We part. can stack 20s in the pussy bitch. Yeah, that we can do. That part is fine. <laughs> That's original. That's all what that part. Let me see. Stacking 20s. Let yeah, the, you're going to find something very useful on Google. Pussy bitch lyrics. No, oh, yeah, you throw you throw that word in there. <laughs> like it's I gonna be stack. Okay, so there's no stacking. Stacking twenties up, fresh and clean, like fatty wop. Nah, you're already too far. So we're stacking twenties in the pussy bitch. Okay, it's original. Yeah, confirmed with Google. Yeah. <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Good. then Let, yeah. let's let's go with some lyrics and let's do a song on this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with no sense whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, and we can't load it on YouTube because they would ban us. <laughs> <laughs> we can do a promo for this podcast to run. <laughs> no, they, they won't ban us because if we put explicit <laughs> 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 that's that's fine. I mean that's legit. Belle Delphine uh, made that music video and she's basically naked and she's talking about sticking things up her pussy. So we should be safe. Yeah. 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 But, um, I mean, we're yeah, not Belle we Delphine, sh- but <laughs> we can make an yeah. effort. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on OnlyFans. <laughs> Stacking 20 with her pussy. In the Delphine's pussy. <laughs> okay, back and to the badger. Talking yeah, about, yeah. Talking we about were pussy. Talking about I mean, to, to avoid any kind of copyright shit, we can actually make a sex doll that's Del Belfine and just <laughs> slightly it looks like her. <laughs> it's not, you know, you're not going against any kind of copyright because it's Del Belfine. It's not Del Belfine. You know? it's, like, it's, it's still, it still goes under that because it's inspired from her looks and you can't do that. Wait, no. It's not yeah. gonna be inspired by her looks because that's the catch. You're not going to take you know, her exact looks yeah, but... and you know, just put it in there and just play the name part. So what my suggestion would be is to take a wig that looks like her hair and put it on her pussy and then just shave her head. So it's like, it's totally different. Totally different, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, and then we thought that we're going to be dead this podcast. We're not. <laughs> we're not. 
Okay. No. Oh, and so then, the how badger, about the badger? <laughs> they got him. They took him to the hospital. They treated him, gave him food, and when they released him, he went back in the direction of the facility. <laughs> Yeah, I'd fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, you just took me from there. I just, I, I forgot my ammunition. <laughs> I forgot what I came for in the first leap. Pa, 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 uh, pa, in the first place. Watching motherfuckers drop. And now the, the most dead thing, and uh, he, he looks the part, this guy. Uh, Dad said he needs... Uh, uh, holy shit, I'm having an aneurysm today. <laughs> is that Del Belfin? What what was the name? Del, Del Belfin. Yeah. Okay. Is is Del Belfin? She's on my mind. <laughs> you fucking unholy swine. <laughs> yes. Okay. Dad said he needs therapy after paying fifty four pounds for fish and chips in London. <laughs> <laughs> what? Therapy. I mean, how how cheap can you be? I mean, I know. Probably it's actually it's, uh, sort of legit. <laughs> why? Uh, basically, I mean, he had to... I think it's cheaper than that, right? Yeah, basically, he had to pay, like, he wanted to treat his family to a nice dinner of fish and chips, very classic. God save the queen again. Um, he, was, he was staggered by the price of 54 pounds for four, uh, uh, you know, for meals. And then uh, it says here that in Leeds you can take you can get the same thing and pay between twenty six and twenty eight. And then down the road in Bradford you can get it at as low as twenty three pounds. Oh, why did he meals. go there? Because he was vis <laughs> visiting his family in East London. You know, he was what? ready to be culturally enriched with some knives. <laughs> he went to treat his family, <laughs> and um, yeah, he was very sad about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you an image. Oh, let me let me send it here. This is my man. Just look at him. <laughs> he just look like you <laughs> like you would expect him to look. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's everything that I've imagined. He seems he seems like and he can be disappointed by anything. To be honest. <laughs> to be honest oh yeah. yeah. So right right when I was about I need therapy because right when I was about to on the crosswalk, you know, he just turned from <laughs> green to bright red and like. <laughs> I need therapy. In in Leeds, it's totally different. You just walk on, and it's completely red all the time. So you just get on the crosswalk. <laughs> You're such a Grinch! Holy shit! <laughs> Come on, man! Fuck him! What the Come fuck? On. It's like, yeah, man. Let me finish. Fucking Grinch! Grinch as right. Grinch as Del Belfin. Are you? Are, no. Yes. Yeah. No. Del, yes. Del Belfin, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. No. <laughs> That was that was just uh you know sort of he was okay with it he was just uh, the the classical UK humor that we learned about like two three episodes ago um, he was actually happy to pay that much if uh, if the restaurant pays the the guys a London living wage because apparently everything's extra expensive in London mm -hmm. um, and then uh, people on Twitter were like uh, where's the GoFundMe page so we can pay this dude back. <laughs> and Go he was happy me. that uh, <laughs> he was happy that uh, people had laughs about his uh, his mishap. I just did it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> kind right. of vibe. <laughs> right, right, mate. <laughs> it just seems like a cheap fuck. Sorry, but like, I mean, fifty-four Says isn't you. it like eighteen pounds each, basically? If Assuming can, there, if you can do the division, then yeah, sure. <laughs> the division. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you call it then, Mister Genius? Whatever division. The div is the division. <laughs> How do you I, call I when you call divide it, the numbers? You fucking the, can't. The, it's the division. <laughs> yes, the division two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then just a quick. Uh, quick news from Ireland, uh, because we had a priest that uh, invested the the parish's money in crypto. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now that I have that was in Poland, I think it was. Yes, yeah. But it, I have something about a priest as well from Ireland. Okay. Uh, this guy didn't invest in crypto, but he this one did get his money. Uh, he didn't get scammed because he sold the 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 church's land 
to uh you know uh house uh, developers how the fuck you call them builders uh he sold the the terrain for uh one million euros okay so let me get this straight he sold the the land that the church was over uh basically? not the one that the church was over but basically they received the land like a couple of years ago from a guy that died uh he his express wish was to keep that under the you know the parish and use it if they need a new uh a new uh graveyard a new something for the church basically it was just for the church sold it. and then the the bishop just said nah mate we're gonna sell it and they sold we're a lot of a land million. for a million <laughs> stacking a milli <laughs> a milli stacking millies in the i don't know in the altar what and then uh the mayor office also had some plans with that because they wanted to use it to build a park but they can't do that anymore so there's that i wanted so to he's just sold it for one million pounds yeah yeah euros not pounds but yeah oh okay he just fucking sold it and he got his money uh i saw it as an antithesis to the other guy from poland that wanted to do good but lost the money uh this guy didn't want to do good and he got the money so that's it it's I mean, uh, yin yang. does it say does it say <laughs> what he did with the that million uh, euros afterward we it doesn't say we don't know basically they sold it through uh, some llc companies it's two two companies one of which he was a director at a bunch of stuff oh there's a lot of detail laundered. in the article but i'm not gonna go into it i just wanted oh, okay. wanted to go quickly oh, okay. through it and that's it <laughs> okay so it's your turn now yeah yeah uh i found a an interesting uh an interesting story from england also but i i've kept it from last week basically <laughs> it's not that funny but the, the idea is funny so hear me out this guy thomas uh it's his name is uh, thomas I don't, I don't have a clue how he, how his last name is pronounced i'm gonna it's send thomas. it to you and yeah yes. and then the last name Twat. just read it <laughs> yeah <laughs> thomas Twat. Twat. I, I don't know how to how to pronounce this name man okay Roy. so the <laughs> Roy, Twat. so the headline goes like this man who lived as a goat explains why and says it was a special kind of time <laughs> a, a special kind of what of time of time and he was yeah i mean a special he, kind no 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 I, it was it was a ah, special was. kind of time okay yeah, yeah so he he lived as a goat yeah he loved it <laughs> yeah, basically yeah uh, i mean okay <laughs> did, did he like eat the grass of the fields and just uh, hang around it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't really say at the at first part of the article it says that uh, he's known as a goat man <laughs> yeah i wonder why <laughs> okay he uh, the article go like goes like this a man has been describing how he was so stressed with his daily life that he decided to live as a goat <laughs> known as goat man thomas <laughs> twat <laughs> <laughs> has written about uh, his unusual lifestyle choice in a book goatman how i took a holiday from being a human <laughs> <laughs> that's the book that's the book okay so the 34 year old uh, said into the bbc radio that he made a decision after dog sitting his niece's happy joyous dog so baby so basically he was a dog sitter for okay. his niece when he thought i w- wouldn't wouldn't be nice just to have a break from all this stress and then he remember thinking as a child that if i were a cat he wouldn't have to go to school <laughs> <laughs> i mean but ra- I, yeah but rather than just letting my childish wishes go i wrote to the welcome trust they gave me a small arts <laughs> award which called by <laughs> which called by bluff i suppose <laughs> Uh okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's I on did fucking uh... Amazon. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> oh, the book, yeah. Just look at the cover. That's gonna, that's gonna be in the description. <laughs> oh, I haven't, I haven't uh, opened look it. Look at the cover. Yeah, it's him, I guess. <laughs> Holy shit. I told you. <laughs> this, this is legit. <laughs> there, there's also, yeah, there's the introduction of it. So this great bowl of earth revolves and once again the morning commute is in full flow. Trip, trip, trap, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. <laughs> trip, clap, clip, clap. Out of the fence onto the bridge over the Thames and into the center of London to work. Oh my god. That's just fucking why am insane. I, why am I the now? Goat man. I mean, he's... he's... I think about the queen, however, only the queen of war is <laughs> You see, Mr. Gabriel, this is what you have to do. So you won't be stressed about work anymore. <laughs> you have to live as a goat, man. Yeah, but the image... Revert to goat. <laughs> the image is it's so fucking hilarious. How he get prosthetic arms, I think. He yes. likes to look like a goat. I think he actually got. Uh, oh my god! Uh, if, you, if you look at the way that goat, if you look at the way that goat looks at him, it's just something like straight out of the Beauty and the Beast when they finally get to accept one another that they're different but still they can be together. It's like just look at no, this no, lad. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking about this. Where it, just this portion here from the cover of the just book. Look at this fucking. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. one here, Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> the goat oh, looks back. I know you are but a human, but I can't hide my feelings anymore. I love are you, you twat. from the book? I love you, twat. Twat. Thomas, I, I don't f- fuck fucking have a clue on how, how this man's name is going <laughs> I guess like Twaits, something like Probably that. Probably Twaits. I love you to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So basically, it became an investigation into how, I, how close we can come to fulfilling this ancient human oh, dream. How close we can <laughs> come. <laughs> How close we can come to being fucking degenerate. <laughs> How close we can uh, come in goats. So the, the article ends like this. I went to a goat farm in the Alps and I had some prosthetics made by a doctor at the University of Salford. Holy <laughs> shit. Imagine, imagine, imagine the discussion. <laughs> Hey Doc, okay. I need some prosthetics. You lost an arm or a leg. No, I want to be a goat. <laughs> I'm gonna revert to goat. <laughs> so basically, he says, uh, so made by a doctor at the university, including prosthetic hooves and prosthetic back legs. <laughs> so he got actually he got some hooves also. Anyway, he said he oh, even man. attempted to give his stomach similar digestive qualities to those of a goat by eating grass. So, so he did eat your... grass. <laughs> yeah, so that's your answer. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot more relaxing than going to work. That's yeah, that. so unfortunately, he lasted three days on the goat farm before he left and crossed the Alps. And now he's happily back to normal human life. So only three uh, days. Yeah, I mean, he was a quitter, man. After I mean, all, yeah, but he wrote a book on it after three days. Exactly. So, we can uh, do this for a week. <laughs> and write a better book. <laughs> and and uh, ours is going to be expensive, right? Cause, of, of course. Uh, I mean, I physics think... <laughs> expensive as well as 12 bucks. <laughs> Isn't is not it expensive? I mean, I, I don't, I yeah, don't it's know. It's $12 on uh, Kindle, and then the hardcover is 25 And that's like a big, uh, I don't know, it's expensive for a book? I mean, for Kindle, it is. As like big titles are like $10, $15. Oh, okay. So this like, guy, the goat man is 12 like <laughs> epic, epic 500 pages stories. This is like 200 pages of a goat man. I mean, I, I would read flip it, club, man. Flip club. I gotta be, I gotta be honest. I would read it. He has a four star out of five. So after, Here's the out queen. of, <laughs> out of 50 ratings, four star. 
I mean, four stars. It seems pretty I mean, good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Then again, what kind of animal should we choose? <laughs> we can do goat. It's already been done, so we need something new. We need a fresh idea. Mm. Mm. Which animal could we choose? That's sort of a wild, accessible. A wild animal or sort of accessible? I saying. mean, a wild I animal hope. wouldn't live with you. They wouldn't stay a, near you. A, a horse. A horse. Are you talking about some weird videos we saw online? Or... What? Are you thinking about anything naughty? <laughs> I lost him. Yeah, no, you did. <laughs> you did. I lost him. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, mate. <laughs> right. Right, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. He saw horses. Sorry. So we need to get like bigger prosthetics than this guy. Oh, yeah, a lot bigger. I mean... We need to get to the level of a horse. And it's like, it takes two of us to I mean, actually make a horse. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I mean, so. If just one of us would try to be a horse, it would look like a retarded horse. Like half a horse. So we could do two. We need to, we need to check or... the logistics. We need to call the doctors. <laughs> the like logistics. Doc, listen up. <laughs> Important mission here. Two people, one horse. You have a, you have a quest. <laughs> <laughs> we have a mission. We gotta do some weird transmutation shit. Build a chimera. Uh, I, don't, I mean, if it's not a horse, what, what else can it be? Like a fucking pig? Like rolling shit <laughs> all day? You wanna be a swine? Yes, I am a swine, a one. mentally. A real one this time. <laughs> On all levels except right. physical, I am swine. <laughs> Hmm. Um, okay, so are you ready for another uh, story about a penis? Yes. Always. Oh, yes. <laughs> Always. oh my god. Is it That's chopped off? Nice. Is it hurt? Uh, Is it a hurt penis? A bit. Uh, just a bit. just okay. the tip. <laughs> it's not it's not cut. <laughs> but it's cut. Just just nip. Just a <laughs> just a tiny slice. <laughs> Okay, so the headline goes like this. So, firemen free Munich man's penis from 13 metal rings. What? <laughs> exactly, like yeah. 13? <laughs> so, 13, yeah. Not 30. 13. 13. Metal oh. rings. Okay, Holy so... fuck. <laughs> so... What was he doing? Was it like a, he was trying to set a record or was he actually getting pleasure from that? <laughs> I don't know. Let, let's read it out. <laughs> On Tuesday, a man in Munich was probably one of the first men to ever not worry about lasting longer. <laughs> 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 These guys are... <laughs> uh, according to Die Welt, Die Welt, I don't know how to to <laughs> to read it in uh, in German. <laughs> The Munich Fire Department had come to a man's rescue to free him from 13 metal penis rings after he had been unable to get them off for four days. <laughs> Holy fuck! Uh, Did his dick fall off? <laughs> <laughs> oh, once the agony was so. <laughs> Holy uh, shit! Uh, once the agony was simply too much, the 50 year old. A 52-year-old ran the, to the emergency admission of the Munich hospital, but even the doctors, they weren't able to help. <laughs> they called the fire department. <laughs> they think he's on fire. I mean, after four days, I, it, it fucking looked like an eggplant. Probably, like yeah, and the color too. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, it was an elaborate and extremely careful process, commented the fire department after an hour of removing each ring one by one. <laughs> <laughs> the poor 52-year-old must have nearly fainted when the official marched up with two angle grinders to free him from his pain. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what these angle grinders are, but... Probably something that cuts those rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, you... uh, yeah, but thirteen. You. Yeah. Uh, yeah the have local. A picture. This is an angle grinder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> 
I mean, at this stage, they could have only used one and just cut the dick off. Like... Just take it the off part... from the base. <laughs> clean. Start, start with a clean slate. Oh my god. Uh, it's like his dick uh, looked like low. a fucking... Like a fucking mushroom at the end. <laughs> fucking purple mushroom. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, okay, so these guys who wrote the uh, this uh, article uh, went to the to a sex store, I think. Okay. okay, so turn to the employees of Berlin's whatever sex store to ask the obvious questions. And uh, this is on quotes. I can't give an estimate on how big his penis is, but if... It doesn't have to be particularly big because there are different sized drinks. Also, people like to use greater numbers of ring in order to stretch their penis is a specific fetish. Oh. So he was uh, trying to stretch it. Bro. Fucking legend. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Damn. That's interesting. Spasiba to you as well. <laughs> oh my <Thank> god you, <laughs> you um, are welcome yeah and that uh, uh, it doesn't say anything about uh, how long that it, did it took to take <laughs> take 13 rings off wish but, we had uh, a video that would have been nice <laughs> yeah <laughs> Or at least a picture. <laughs> at least a picture. At yeah, least. and uh, at the end it says that uh, there is another there is another story that happened also in Germany. But I think I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna save it for <laughs> for, <laughs> for for next week. Stop smoking. Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> You're beginning to sound like an old man. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, okay, so it's um uh, it's dead time. <laughs> dead. That's what? He died dead. It's what? <laughs> what? You what, mate? It's what time? Fucking swear on me, mom, mate. Fucking bash your head in. So, it's time to get back to weird laws, huh? What uh-huh. do you, Rob? Yeah. Are you feeling up to the task? No. <laughs> No, that's a cry for help. <laughs> no, please help me. You, you just need to live as a goat, man. That's all you need. You'd be, you'd be rid of all the stress mm. from work, from life. You'd, you'd be rid of the depression. You just eat grass and talk to Martha the goat, and everything would be perfect. Right. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> He's turning British. <laughs> oh. I think the last time we were uh, left at the United Kingdom. At Norway. Yeah. Was it Norway? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay. It was Norway yes. and then in between we did Austria. So, but we didn't. We didn't go for Norway. Yes, we didn't. Okay, good. So Norway. In Norway, it's illegal to pick another person's cloud berries. What? Cloudberries? Yes. What the fuck is a cloudberry? <laughs> Just look for that. I don't know how to explain it, but you'll, you'll What's recognize it. Cloudberry. Wait. Mm. What? I, I've never I, seen this fruit in my life. <laughs> yeah, no, you I, haven't? I, I mean, no. I have... Uh, it, it looks like a berry, like a raspberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, but it's apparently, orange. Yeah. They, they, apparently, they're called the Highland Gold that are considered rare delicacies since they're not commercially grown. And they're only allowed to pick them from places that are not fenced, otherwise there may be serious trouble. And we don't just mean the police. Uh... Farmers have been known to shoot at trespassers for stealing their proud berries. I mean, that's a dangerous game to play, considering that in Norway, you can pass through someone's property. If you are just passing through, I mean that's legal. When it, if you take a cloud berry, you just fucking get shot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get I it. Like you pass the line. I let it through, but pick my cloud yeah, berries I mean... now. That's <laughs> that's, that's... <laughs> too <laughs> much. <laughs> too much. Motherfuckers, drop. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring the gun, honey. <laughs> he just picked our cloud berry. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like those guys from the from the United States, those lawyers or whatever they were during the protest that yeah, yeah. they try to defend their home and there's <laughs> that an picture AR-15. of them with like their fucking <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde or some shit like that. Yep, exactly. So, uh, though there is one here, I mean, I, to be honest, I don't know why it, it's on this list on weird laws because I don't consider it to be weird. Actually, I think it's really good that they have such such law existing. So it's forbidden to read your boyfriend or girlfriend's text messages, and this is considered a violation of the right to private communication and can land you up to two years in jail, which I think that's amazing. Yeah. It's, I, I really think that that's, it's good to have a law like this. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't sound bad. It's like, yeah, I guess that's... it's weird because not, I don't think many countries have that. No, I'm not sure. I mean... I, I I really am not sure. Yeah, but I think that's a law just to be I don't know just be called upon in court. I mean I don't think anybody actually applies it. I mean, well I think it depends. You could on, sue. It, it depends. <laughs> I mean you I mean, could sue somebody, but how can you how can you prove that? I'm thinking I'm thinking about this case. So say I'm a husband and I'm cheating on my wife, and my wife finds out that I'm cheating on her. Because she's reading my text messages. Maybe in this case, this kind of a law comes up in play. I Because it's like so. she violated the law. And then, I mean, she asked for a divorce or whatever. But I initially, guess. she fucked up. Yeah, but I how can you tell? I mean, how can you prove that she actually read your text messages? She knows information yeah, a, she shouldn't know. That, that's a, that's a, <laughs> yeah, that's but a that... fair point, yeah. Because, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I yeah, but he may, <laughs> she maybe uh, find it out uh, from a dis- different source, not uh, not your message. Well, can you prove? Can you prove it was a different source? <laughs> yeah, but the law doesn't work like this. You have to prove it. Man. <laughs> well, you don't know how the law works there. But what if the law asks her? I mean, have you been to a private investigator, or how did you find out? And my argument is no. She found out because most likely she read on my messages. That's my concern. Yeah, but most if likely is not is not like uh, <laughs> you can't use that, that, most that, likely in court. That's the court's job, basically, to find out if you know she did it according to the law, and if she did, so if she has proof or not. Uh, I I beg to argue. Yeah. Basically, when when <laughs> you sue somebody about something, I mean, let's say she files the divorce, right? And uh, may, I mean, you could do it like peacefully, let's say like this. I don't know the actual word and you can go to court. But if you sue her for basically divorcing you, you have to go to court with some proof. You can't just, yeah, I sue you based on what? You know what I mean? And then I if mean, you I, can't I prove, saying, I mean, if you can't we prove, don't know, we she don't know actually... this law where it's applicable. I mean, That's this what... might be a case, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's that why I said that at the beginning that maybe it's just a law that's called upon when needed, not actually applied. But I and mean, actually, that, that, I mean, people suing each other by reading needed, each other's texting. <laughs> if it's needed, then how do you prove it's needed then? Because we came back to the same argument. How do you prove this happened or not? <laughs> I mean, when this you... Uh, I mean, like the... Europe or fucking level of law advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's how like better you prove it? <laughs> you murdered no, the yeah. man. How do you prove it? <laughs> how do you do you do you do you, how do you prove show, it? Show evidence. Show evidence. <laughs> Call baby. Call baby. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So Just to god. conclude my argument, I was like. No, no, no. I, I haven't finished, man. I haven't. <laughs> Maybe this law is not really about text messages. It's about emails. You see, I, I don't know if you saw that uh, uh, movie, not, not movie, that series that uh, suits, I think. And then they actually proved that somebody accessed illegally, basically, an email address. What, what series is that? Uh, what, 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 what's that one? The Suits. Suits is a series about some lawyers and doing lawyer shit. Oh, and... it's with that overinflated ego can't that. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The royal yeah, family. Yeah. Martha's... Shit. 
واتس ار نيم مارتا ناد مارتا ميغن مارتا ميغن مارتا يو ار كايند اوف كلوز ديد سولس ايز اوف مارتا The Duchess of Sussex. Uh, it's of six. Sussex. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, okay, I don't know. Okay. I mean, even in that case, what those guys were talking about at Oprah, I was like, oh. I mean, yeah. It's, I couldn't it, care less. <laughs> oh it comes with some disadvantages, you know, to be in that position. But at the same time, <laughs> no, you can kind of do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know what they made. I mean, they made the news, but I couldn't care less. I was like, yeah, you but can. But a lot of people do, so. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're getting paid, so whatever, Marta, fuck off. <laughs> Marta and his child. Yeah, I guess it's the first one or the second? No, the second. The second, okay. I saw that they put the name what? Lilibet. Which is what sounds so fucking royal? Because it was because it's like uh, a tribute to two queens, let's say. Uh, That's the queen that was yeah. named Lily Better. So something. you you actually know the royal lore? <laughs> uh, no, no, actually, I was just <laughs> scrolling to the news and then found out in like just the headline. <laughs> oh, okay. It was just the headline that says, yeah, they named it after. Whatever, whatever, Queen. Uh, yeah, or... Okay, okay, okay. Got yeah, you. But I, I couldn't care less to to actually click on the story. Okay, we're done with the oh. UK lore. Let's continue the laws. <laughs> it's Sweden. So Sweden. in Sweden, it's illegal to paint your house without getting a license first. Okay, I think that's cool. This sounds like the UK. <laughs> you can't do any anything without a license. Do you have a license, mate? I mean, you can have both, so it's written here that you can have bold ideas for painting the outside of your house. Think twice as a Swedish law guards against having houses that stick out. If okay. you are caught, a fine will be issued. Issued the, uh, the price will then again depend on various offenses you have committed. The rule of thumb is that you need to keep the similar colors as was before if the building is within city bounds. Good news, in the countryside, you can paint your house any color. Ah, okay, so it's only for the city. Okay. Basically, yeah. And yeah, no, I but that's a good law. That's not yeah, even a yeah, strange yeah, yeah. law. I yeah. think in our country it's called an urbanist law. I mean, the whole city oh, basically yeah, yeah. have the urbanist. The urbanist I think actually, I think they actually inspired from like really. really. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean... think that's a law that says that basically the city has to look all the same i mean all the houses must look in in all around the what those colors look? it's uh it's from a suits uh bucharest <laughs> edition episode <laughs> yeah urbanist <laughs> law because <laughs> that kind kind of a main character was walking around and marta. just <laughs> with marta <laughs> working Fucking with marta, marta. <laughs> Where where license where paint? <laughs> <laughs> so okay. uh, yeah, another one. Actually, I think this one is a bit weird. Uh, so Swedish princes or princesses need the consent of the government to get married. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. It just says here that without consent, they forfeit the right of success and succession for their ah. children and all their descendants. <laughs> it's like so you... so if if the government government doesn't allow, they're gonna pull uh, I don't know Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> no, just fucking kill ourselves. <laughs> it's li- I mean, in a way, in a way, it literally the government fucks with you because it's like they're allowing you to do it or not. Okay, so um, you're gonna you're get a stamp for you can fuck now. <laughs> I yeah. think it's maybe just to like vet the person from a security standpoint. Yeah, 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 yeah. So probably. yeah, it's not like and then a... inheritance and yeah. all that juice so, like, and all those get, money. They won't get weird people in the royal Swedish family. So 
Zvirish. <laughs> imagine, imagine being us, <laughs> one of us, <laughs> just marrying a Swedish, a Swedish princess. Yeah, what I got this disease from you Romania. Don't discriminate. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we did. If I'm gonna be a royal, <laughs> like I mean, I mean, <laughs> a royal decree is a royal decree any time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I can be a prince afterwards, sure, why not? <laughs> And then the story would be like two princes. <laughs> uh, the prince married another prince. <laughs> Imagine if, the, if in the UK they had this. No, Mark. You what? Imagine, imagine Harry or what? What's his name? You what? No, Martha. Uh, no, mate. No, Mar- no, Mar- no, mate. It's it's Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> it's Nigel. <laughs> it's Nigel. I'm marrying Nigel, ma, or grandma, uh, actually. Grandma. I think yeah, grandma. Uh, I'll fucking I would leave you too, you little shit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She'll fucking outlive their children. Oh my god. Charles has been waiting for that throne. For 50 years. And he'll be... I think, I think there's, this, there's a certain milestone where you just have to give up. <laughs> like... I guess he, he already gave up because he's not the next in line. But I, who is? I think it's uh, the older the older guy. Charles. No, not the, the older son. What's his name? Oh, yeah, no. But I mean, the next one is the, is the queen's son charles i think it's his name next in right. line and to the british the next... throne didn't wasn't he like abdicating basically yeah it's going to william it's going to william oh so oh, the william younger one is... yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, i william, mean yeah but that was that... his name william <laughs> i forgot willy willy, willy. <laughs> little willy <laughs> king, king willy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's gonna happen in yeah. like 20 years from now, so don't worry. Or it's gonna no. take a long time. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's Charles and then William. But then again, most likely Charles is gonna be like, nah, mate, I'm too old <laughs> for this shit. I mean, how old is he? I mean... I think he's about 70 or so. Uh, I mean, yeah, but she's 100, so... 72, <laughs> 72. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't think he would. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, I'm too old for this shit. I yeah. lived my life, and I mean, the queen is 95 and she still looks good. So she's moving <laughs> around. She's <laughs> like I told I you. Mean, after, 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 drinking, from now. after drinking all, all, all that children's blood, I mean, <laughs> it's uh, impressive. A royalty perks, man. That's why we need to become Swedish princes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> marrying a Swedish prince. <laughs> you too can drink the blood of the innocents. <laughs> Staring. <laughs> and with the depressive. Horia the Ho. And then Gabi the dead. <laughs> what is dead may never die. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Coming from a show that died so fast. Holy shit. So fast it took like nine years, man. No, <laughs> that wasn't the, fast. Yeah, it took nine years for it to die in like one week. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> okay, uh, next country. We have Denmark. Oh the suspense and your <laughs> voice <laughs> are killing Andrew, you me. Had- I think you actually went to Denmark, Denmark right? Denmark, yes. <laughs> but oh, I didn't Denmark. go to Denmark. <laughs> oh, you I, went to Norway? Yeah. I wanted to oh, go okay. to Denmark and then COVID Denmark. came. Denmark. <laughs> and then I went to COVID. So I went in house and I stay in house. Very nice. So can, you walk us, can you walk us a bit for your COVID experience? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, how you are a prisoner of forced uh, <laughs> for four months, basically, when people actually were. <laughs> I mean, we had a, we had the <laughs> the plague, the government <laughs> lockdown, and I didn't leave the house because I didn't have to. <laughs> the, and the then 
I I went outside for like once every two weeks, and then I had to quarantine for two weeks twice. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> but now I'm fully vaccinated, baby. You can suck my Pfizer dick. I think I mean there's a <laughs> the I just watched today. We have a stand-up comedian. Yeah, I've uh, watched, it. Here. <laughs> I've um, watched it too. <laughs> anyway, he was talking. He was talking about um, the vaccines, right? So he was talking about these guys that are using Pfizer. And I swear to God, I've noticed it in in some conversations. It's like whenever there's a chance that when someone is gonna, you know, you're gonna ask someone, right? So what vaccine did you use? They're gonna say Pfizer in a way that they are bragging. You know, it's like Pfizer. It's like, you know, mm. it's a top shit. What car, <laughs> what, what phone do you have? It's an iPhone. What car do you have? It's a Mercedes. You know, it's just that, that kind of a smirk on their face. It's like Pfizer. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're one of the richest guys. <laughs> you don't, I mean, you don't have to brag. I don't care what vaccine I get. I just, I just want to be able to go out, so. No, I can. Oh, I see. You're you're one of those modest uh, rich cunts. It's like, yeah, you know, yeah, this yeah, phone yeah. it doesn't mean anything modest to me. Rich but it, it's a, it's yeah, a, it's it a isn't Pfizer. like it isn't like it was free and paid for by the state. So we're gonna see next year when it's gonna you're gonna have to pay for it. We're gonna see then and I think how many you're people still do the Pfizer. <laughs> uh, you're, gonna, yeah. you're gonna pay big money next year. No, yeah. I don't think it's gonna be that. I mean. What can it be? 80 euros, 100. <laughs> Five pounds, a quid. Like Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> or that's American. <laughs> I don't know if Johnson and Johnson is American vaccine. It is. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. But what's what's the the uh, the UK one? The British. AstraZeneca. One? Oh, okay. <laughs> that comedian. <laughs> that comedian said that that's for the poor guys, <laughs> <laughs> the cheap guys. I and mean... then Moderna was like the old iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> In Moderna, it's good. It's like the last model of iPhone. <laughs> I mean, with uh, with Astra, is like the the weird part about it is you need to wait two months to get the the second shot, and that's a big. Like for uh, what? Astra, AstraZeneca sounds like you know when you're going to, um, <laughs> let's say you're going to the doctor, and it's like, how is it cold? For fuck's sake, I, uh, I have a, I have a gap. Let me just look for it. How is it? Cold? Where do you have this gap? <laughs> Mind the gap. Uh, uh. Oh right. So you, so you're going to to a doctor and you need to to have an X-ray, you know, and they're all like, yeah, everything's gonna be fine, don't worry, and they just hide themselves behind a fucking block. <laughs> and I mean, when they're doing it, and it's like with AstraZeneca, it just looks the same. No, it's so safe. Look, you just have to wait like maybe about twenty. <laughs> years in between shots <laughs> but it's fine don't worry <laughs> i mean that's the only bullshit part like two months fuck off these other guys it's Pfizer's like 21 days and moderna it's 28 so you can get it I mean, over with a lot quicker and just fucking yeah, go maybe outside two three weeks something like this basically yeah. Pfizer. Oh, Pfizer. Pfizer. yeah and Pfizer. it's the smirk yeah. Pfizer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got, I, exactly. I got Pfizer, Let's man. go to Denmark. Ah, and also, Denmark. this is episode 16, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Me <laughs> wrong <laughs> ever. Nah. It, it's like celebrating yesterday, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the moment. Yeah, but it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we can enjoy it again. <laughs> Denmark. Oh, uh, Denmark. Denmark yeah, this one this one is, is it's kind of interesting because it's like so it's compulsory to check for, for to check for children hiding under your car before you set off. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> <the description. laughs> you, you basically have to look under your car. To yeah. make sure there are no children under yeah. your car. I mean, <laughs> it does make sense. 
<laughs> it is like we all know about pre-driving checks that we should carry out before starting any journeys in our car. Check the mirrors, make sure everyone's got their seat belts on, ensure you've got full visibility in all windows and so on. In their mark, these pre-drive checks are a little more thorough by law. The driver of any motor vehicle also has to check underneath their vehicle for bodies, alive or otherwise, before setting <laughs> off. Alive or otherwise, <laughs> that made the whole fucking joke. <laughs> Alive or otherwise. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I'm I'm really curious, like, what kind of crazy statistic or you know what what led to this? <laughs> I mean, something had to happen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it it takes like it takes like one tragedy, you know. Yeah, basically, okay, it always takes one it. tragedy, and then you have the law. Oh. It happens kids, here, it happens everywhere. It. Yeah, yeah. And the next one, I don't exactly get. I mean... You don't get, just, as in you don't understand it? or I, what? Don't, I don't understand what's the basis of it, but it's like, okay. if the body of water called Öresund, I think it's called Öresund, so if the body of water called Öresund, I think Öresund is the word for this body of water, <clears throat> so if the body of water becomes solid, and the Swede tries to cross the ice, you are legally allowed to beat him with a stick till they go back. What? <laughs> Wait, what? That's nice. Yeah, but look so, on oh, look on Google, what's, what's that word? Oresund is the strait between Oresund. Sweden and Denmark. Okay. Just, okay, where is where's Sweden? <laughs> okay, so... And donde esta el Swedish? <laughs> all, all baby Sweden. <laughs> how is uh, how is it called? Spell it for me. With a with one of those O's with like a line in the middle of it. Just fucking let me give it the link. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I just spelled it with an H. <laughs> yeah, I, I just. I just... with an H. <laughs> I just thought it's, it's an age there. Sweden with a K. <laughs> okay, so this piece of uh, basically so this wait. body of, uh, of so water. You can beat what with a stick? So if a Swede, right, so it's a Swedish guy, tries to cross the ice, you are legally allowed to beat him with a stick till they go back. So basically... <laughs> <laughs> So if a Swedish guy tries to get into the country, except the bridge, because they have the bridge that connects them. So he, if he doesn't yeah, come on the bridge, bridges, bridges <laughs> you can just fucking pummel him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with a stick. <laughs> until no, 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 until he goes back. So basically, if he doesn't go back, you're allowed to beat him until I don't know. Maybe he dies of old age. <laughs> I mean. Do they have a tradition in Sweden where they just get in high numbers and then try to cross the border <laughs> and see who make it, makes it through without being beaten? That would be like some kind of Hunger Games bullshit. <laughs> that I, I'd watch that. <laughs> it sounds fun. I mean, father, we... I crave violence. <laughs> I think I think we've learned like a couple of episodes ago that uh, Swedish people are not. Uh, when you do when you did that uh, statistic uh, statistics gi- gig, mm-hmm. uh, th- they're gig. not. Uh, I got it. And then uh, uh, they're not as peaceful and <laughs> their neighbors <laughs> so basically maybe they do have like a crazy idea <laughs> the but i wonder <laughs> yeah, exactly but i wonder how how often the does this uh, water goes uh, solid i mean no fucking they, idea. they they live pretty up up high in uh, in this uh, this europe of your of ours but yeah, I mean, I I guess it's not that often, or maybe it is. I mean, Denmark gets cold, but it's not it's not Norway or uh, North uh, North Sweden, uh, Sweden. I have no fucking idea. What's the next country? So the next country is the Netherlands. Ooh, the Nether regions. <laughs> so the first one again. I don't know where the fuck this is coming from. It's against the law to lock a burglar in your toilet. What? <laughs> That's against the law. <laughs> so it's like 
<laughs> Picture this. A robber breaks into your house while you're at home. In a burst of adrenaline and quick thinking, you trap them in the bathroom. Hooray! Success! Well, no. By locking up the burglar and depriving them of the privilege of stealing your stuff, you're simultaneously <laughs> depriving the burglar of their liberty, and that's against the law. <laughs> Which is fucking mental. <laughs> but what the fuck? It's like, so if I just take him in a chokehold, that's okay. But if yeah, I lock him sure. in the... If I lock him no, in the you... bathroom, it's not okay. You it's can't. democracy, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone's entitled to be free. <laughs> I mean, he's imposing on my freedom because he's on my property. So if he's attempting to oppress my freedom, then I can oppress his freedom. So fuck him. So that's bullshit. That's stupid. Two out of ten would not recommend. Oh. Uh, mm. uh, mm. Not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> That's You're seeing so much with so little. Wow. Uh, simplicity. What was that stupid <laughs> bullshit quote with like, simplicity is the most... Uh, uh, how, how the fuck was... <laughs> Let me just uh, look up. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. That one, man, yeah. Uh, oh my god. Shit. I just vomited uh, in my mouth, man. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> yeah, fuck again. Oh, uh, <laughs> Did I, did I tell you that story of, I think I, I did, I'm not sure though. Did I tell you that story, if you, the one with, if you see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand bullshit? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. From my job, yeah. that one, yeah. man. <laughs> what? Can you say that again? So that If story, you see it in your head, you can hold head, it in you your hand. Hold, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He got cancer and then he died. Oh. R.I.P. Oh. Mr. Ho. You will be oh. missed. Just Am fucking I... die already. <laughs> Am I... Stop moaning. Am I going to be missed? Eh, debatable. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, so next... Can't... Uh, no, we still have one more from the nether regions. No, we still have... Let me see. We still have two more. Ooh. I mean, the Netherlands was... And then we have Belgium and Luxembourg. Okay. So I'll do Belgium and Luxembourg, and I think we can we can fuck yeah. off. Uh, so Belgium, dogs and oxen can be requisitioned to proper army vehicles. What? <laughs> so Belgium to fucking to push proper... them? <laughs> or oh. I think it is. Pull them? Like... I think it is. Going to battle uh, riding a fucking ox? I think I think it's this one. I mean. It's basically that it can be used to, to carry stuff around. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like ammunition and, and different equipment. So uh, Belgium's reputation for weird laws has grown into legacy around the world. Quite a few of their weird laws have to do with advanced, advancing technology. To mention just one, a provision in a code concerning the military dating back to 1939 regulates that beasts of burden Horses, oxen, dogs can be requisitioned for vehicles employed by the army. Always useful for when your drone runs out of fuel. <laughs> so basically, okay. you can take you can take everybody's horses, oxen, yeah. dogs, and be like, and I'm I'm can... going to war, <laughs> fuck faces. <Yeah. laughs> okay. War dogs. I mean, it would it would be pretty cool to go into battle riding a horse. And like with an army of cows behind you, <laughs> like trampling there might everyone. Be, there might be just know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Fucking yeah. hell! Sounds so nice. So this one is just funny. The next one is—I mean, funny. It's just—I <laughs> don't know what to make of it. The Belgian flag is unconstitutional by law. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, apparently there's a mismatch between the actual flag and the, this, its description in the constitution, which has endured for almost two centuries now. <laughs> so basically, their law describes it different than it actually what is. It actually is. <laughs> yeah. But they're not changing the law. No, I mean no. <laughs> the law and the flag. They're basically saints. <laughs> We're not changing anything, man. Yeah, but it's I mean, different. Yeah, but we don't care. We're Belgian. They're not gonna <laughs> sue themselves. So. Yeah, basically. 
Oh, fucking hell. Okay, very hey, nice I'm Belgium. Shoot. Yeah, <laughs> unexpected <Yep>. too. <laughs> and then the last and final one, Luxembourg. Luxembourg. I mean, it's nothing Luxembourg. interesting about this one. So all cars must have windshield wipers. Um, oh. So there are some that... driving... Lure... What? What? I mean, I was just about to say, like, that's what that that should be normal like yeah that that's the <laughs> part that i don't get i mean i'm not sure i'm not sure if they're talking about the rear window though like all the windows ah, like okay you know, okay okay or if it's just the one in the front because that's a bit that i don't get because it's like there are some driving grooves that are just downright strange in luxembourg windshield wipers are mandatory in your vehicle like in any vehicle everywhere on earth i guess i mean it's not mandatory but they're there so you shouldn't I mean, be saying that Luxembourg is, an, is a crazy country, but the strange thing is that it's compulsory even for your vehicle doesn't have a windshield. So next time when you drive down in your sports uh, convertible in Luxembourg without a windshield, make sure windshield wipers are still fitting. But so why would like you drive even, without a windshield? Uh, I mean, there are cars with no windshield. I mean, yeah, very, but rare, I mean, very rare cars. But and you'd get a bunch cars, of bugs basically. in your teeth. Man, I mean, yeah, I mean, your thief will be the last of your concerns <laughs> if I you mean, get look, bugs look up, coming look in. Up, for example, for uh, Mercedes SLR McLaren stealing moss, and you'll see what I'm talking what? about. Those are those are really specific cars Holy and shit, really that's rare and special. Like five word name, <laughs> or look for Ferrari Monza. <laughs> I mean, it does look cool, but Monza. going fast in this car would fucking kill you. No, I yeah, mean, but... I mean, you're not, you're not going to go fast in this car without a helmet. That's I mean, the... yeah, it makes sense. But if you didn't have a helmet, I mean, you, 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 you I mean, the, this kind of cars, you're either just showing off and just cruising around, you know, yeah. with like in town speeds, or you're just, you know, going on track or whatever. Just put a helmet. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Okay, so Luxembourg. Minus two points, bullshit law, fuck off. <laughs> so, I mean, the other one that's mentioned here, uh, I think we said in, in uh, the previous episode, but I forgot to mention this one. So this article, it's from uh, Europe is not dead, just to credit them and, you know, the work they've done for this article. If, you know, you want to have a look at their website, if you enjoy this kind of content for weird, interesting, stupid, sometimes dumb shit from around Europe, have a look at, at them as well. Um, so Luxembourg, just to just to wrap it up. The last one, I don't really get what's weird about it. Why was it mentioned? I'm sure there's more to it than it's written here. So mm-hmm. smoking at work is allowed. So no law, no law formally prohibits smoking at workplaces. So I'm not sh- sure why okay. this is different from other I mean, parts of Europe. It's... It's because it's sort of backwards. I assume it means smoking in the interior. Yeah, I mean, indoors. It might be. Indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense mentioning it, basically. Yeah. Because you're allowed to smoke uh, on your workplace, at your workplace, basically. But if you use a balcony or something like this. But if they mention it... Yeah, and then oh, if they mentioned it, probably it's about indoors. I mean, right yeah. at your desk, basically. That would be nice. Yeah, yes and no. Because yes. you're going to... Smoking. Quit yeah, smoking. you're going to smoke more if you can smoke everywhere, basically. Yeah, I know. I bring back the good old days when you could smoke in planes and you could <laughs> smoke with your in doctor. Bars. In bars, man, that, that's the, the, the biggest you one. You could smoke at the cinema, you just see fucking smoke, no movie. <laughs> like fucking legends. Imagine the uh, Americans in the 70s or 80s, whenever that happened. Like they would go to the cinema and just start smoking, and you wouldn't see the fucking movie. <laughs> I mean, you can actually see it through the smoke but not as clearly as you would if he was <laughs> any smoke there you are providing propaganda for the smoking companies so i'm gonna <laughs> disagree with you you are providing <laughs> <laughs> why are you providing sir <laughs> you... wait that's illegal <laughs> <laughs> yes oh okay. my god so that was it for this week 
I assume. Yeah. 16, not 15, sorry. Yes. <laughs> honest, We're honest almost mistake. of legal age. <laughs> legal age to vote. <laughs> and we turn 18. <laughs> yeah, we can. To goat. Return to uh, God. Yeah, maybe maybe put that uh, that man's book uh, <laughs> in the description. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll have <laughs> the links send, there. And then send him an email, and then. <laughs> nah, I I don't think I want to be a goat man yet. But maybe. <laughs> yet, <laughs> yeah, but... yet. I mean, your beard actually it, it's growing strange, so <laughs> you're kind of you're a male a goat. To go that way. You're a male goat. <laughs> are a fucking clown. Get out of my face. <laughs> Funny how. Funny. I may be I may be a clown, but <laughs> at least I'm no goat. <laughs> <laughs> I am the greatest of all time, so suck my dick. Hey, you are the oh my the god, goat. the goat hey. you, you got it because it's like G O A T oh fucking <laughs> lyrical genius. Get out of my face. And back in the Wait, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm scrolling. He's going to make a sequel to Eight Mile, and he wants you in it. <laughs> Pick up, man. I am doing oh. Nine Mile. Fuck off. His stacks are heavy. Pussy's in the twenties. Mom's spaghettis. Oh. Okay, let's fuck off. Any last words before we return no. to ashes? Return to goat. Return to goat. <laughs> <laughs> to our goat friends. <laughs> okay. If, if you have nothing else to add, let's I mean, let's fuck off and uh, thank we'll the see guys you. for listening here. Yeah. No. Fuck off. <laughs> I see mean, ya. we will. <laughs> yeah, you will. I won't. See you next time in episode twenty-two. <laughs> Sixteen plus one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye.